Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to talk about the beam deflection in uh, ETAPS and uh, I've used the hand calculation uh, by using the Excel uh, spreadsheet and uh, compute for the immediate deflection and then uh, the long term deflection and I will compare the result from the spreadsheet uh, with the uh, result from ETAPS okay so uh, before we start please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button and if you like this video please put the thumb up as well so uh, this is the model that I'm going to use so uh, the material of the concrete uh, we use this one and uh, uh, we don't have to set the uh, time dependent property here uh, we will set uh, this a uh, letter and uh, this is the uh, compressive uh, strength of the concrete and for the beam we use the uh, this one and this is the uh, dimension of the beam so uh, to compute for the uh, uh, immediate deflection of the crack section in the tabs and the long-term deflection of the crack section uh, we can uh, go to define and create uh, uh, a few load case uh, which will uh, um, use the uh, nonlinear analysis in order to, com uh, to compute for the um, deflection uh, with the correct uh, section so uh, the first case here I will uh, add the dead load so uh, we use the uh, short term for the dead load uh, D and uh, this is the uh, short term deflection and we add the dead and the superimposed dead load and uh, we need to set the option here uh, crack and short term ok and ok and the next one sorry I will copy this and uh, we need to uh, add the lie load as well and this is again a short term deflection and uh, we use the same uh, option here and uh, next one uh, it is the uh, substand uh, load so uh, I will use only the uh, third uh, sorry 50% uh, of the uh, line load and we need to uh, change the scale uh, factor here and uh, we set this again uh, the same and the last one uh, it is the uh, substand load again but uh, this time it is the uh, long term uh, deflection so uh, we need to set this option to a uh, long term so uh, we have the parameter here but uh, I will keep it uh, as default here and okay 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 and then uh, we need to add the combination so uh, the first combination here will be uh, the load uh, which use only the linear analysis and this one will be uh, line load and uh, next one I will call this uh, one uh, short term uh, deflection so uh, we need to um, uh, use this uh, case and this one but uh, this is uh, minus one so uh, when we do the subtraction the uh, we get the uh, immediate deflection which is the uh, line load uh, only and we can uh, compare this uh, value with the uh, uh, ACI code uh, limit 
uh, 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 for the immediate deflection uh, next one I will call this uh, number two and long term deflection and uh, we going to need to use uh, this one and scale factor one and uh, this one as well and next is uh, this one but uh, we need to use the um, uh, minus one uh, scale factor here so that uh, after we do the uh, uh, summation here we get the uh, total long-term deflection and uh, if you want to uh, check more information you can go to uh, CSI uh, uh, website uh, to check more about the correction uh, correct section analysis and uh, we click OK here and OK and uh, to use the uh, correct section analysis in e tab here we need to select all, uh, all the beam and assign frame and uh, click this uh, option here floor cracking and use uh, the option consider selected beam objects uh, here and apply okay and next we uh, select all the uh, uh, shell object here and go to shell and floor cracking and again select this option and apply and uh, we need to check the uh, the case that uh, we run and we can uh, run here so uh, after the analysis is complete we can uh, check the uh, short term and long term deflection here or uh, you can check uh, like this for the beam so I will focus on this one so uh, you can see the uh, short term deflection here and for the long term deflection you can see here so uh, this is how you get the short term and long term deflection in ETABS so uh, next I will use the uh, Excel uh, spreadsheet that I uh, created here and uh, we will compare the result uh, from this uh, with the one from ETABS so uh, I will run the uh, 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 concrete design here and I will focus on this beam so uh, first we need to add, uh, import the dimension of the beam and cover and this one will be uh, 340 and uh, we can check the rebar here I will import the uh, uh, area of the rebar So uh, actually the value that uh, it, it's take to compute uh, for the um, deflection only uh, the middle uh, rebar here but uh, I input all uh, anyway and uh, I will skip the shear part here because uh, we don't need this one and uh, after we import the uh, provided rebar we can uh, go to the deflection part so uh, first I will add the beam uh, length so uh, we can check the length here uh, 6 uh, meter and the uh, portion of the substance load is uh, 50% and this is the uh, material the concrete uh, the tensile strength of the uh, rebar 
and I'm going to import the uh, elastic deflection for the dead load case and the light load case and the bendings uh, as well uh, bending moment sorry so uh, we can select the uh, dead load here and uh, we can check at the uh, middle of the um, uh, beam and uh, this is for the uh, dead load so this is a uh, three point and uh, this is 46 and next uh, for the lie load and we use the middle of the beam as well uh, this is 0 0.94 and 13 so uh, after we input all the value here we can check the result here and we can compare with uh, this one so for the short term deflection uh, we have three uh, millimeter and we have uh, three millimeter here and for the long term deflection uh, we have uh, 19 here and uh, 17 here so uh, it's quite similar so uh, we can uh, uh, see that uh, we can use uh, the e tab to compute for the uh, short term and long term deflection uh, to make uh, uh, to save time and uh, it's quite accurate I think and uh, uh, we can use uh, um, this way uh, or this uh, method to compute for the long term and short term deflection so uh, this is it for this video and if you want the spreadsheet that uh, I use here in this video you, you can uh, check the link in the description and uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video and thank you so much uh, for watching I will see you guys in uh, my next video thank you